Are you guys doing? Great. Yeah. First and foremost, thank you for being here today. I know if you are not dedicated on a Saturday afternoon, there are so many friends in Philadelphia uh, to have, but you choose to be here today to learn a couple concepts that we're going to share with you. I'm very happy, I'm honored to be one of the speakers for tonight. So, as I said, my name is Estefan Noel. I was born and raised in Haiti. A few years ago, after I graduated from high school, my parents have had no hope for me in Haiti uh, because they wanted me to be their retirement plan, they wanted me to be their saving account, they wanted me to become somebody so that I could take care of them, I could bury them. Because in a third world country, people have no savings. They raise their kids to, you know, to take care of them later on. But I have, I have a great, a big debt uh, toward my parents. I owe them a lot of money because they has they had to sell <coughs> everything that they had to bring me here. But I'm still not doing what I'm supposed to do for them. L like everybody, so they told me to come to America, study, go to school, get good grades, after you graduate, get a job. I have done all that. Not only do I have a bachelor, I have two master's degree, I was pursuing uh, in, in, in PhD, a PhD, doctorate degree in finance. Uh, I did everything that I was supposed to do, but the money is not there. And I'm gonna show you why it's not there. I'm gonna show you another opportunity out there where you could pursue and then you could change your life. All right, so bear with me for a couple of minutes. So let me share that with you. There was a survey done in Dubai a couple of years ago. So they went around, they asked a bunch of people from different backgrounds, millionaires, people who are struggling, but especially, um, especially um, successful people. They asked them, what is the most important thing for you in life? If I were to ask you this question today in, 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 in this room, what is the most important thing for you? They give a lot of answers, but the five answers that were left, it was family, it was lifestyle, and it was significant. But let's talk a little bit about time. Why time is so important? Time is important because there are three types of time. There are three things that you could do with your time. What can you do with your time? If you have time, you could sell your time. When you go to work, nine to five, eight to four, what do you do? You are selling your time, right? So if you are willing to sell your time, there will be people who are willing to buy your time too. All right? Who's, who's buying your time? Your boss. The people that you work for, right? So they choose how much to pay you. Minimum wage, $10 an hour, $14 an hour, $20 an hour. The nurses make $40, $30 an hour. They put a price tag on your time because you are willing to sell your time. All right? What if you invest your time? People choose to sell, people choose to buy. What you are doing here today, my friends, you are investing your time. All right? The time that you spend, you're going to spend with us now is an investment. You're going to learn certain things that you have never heard of. That, that time basically will be compound later on to give you the results. All right? So the second question was health. People, there are three types of health. There is what we call mental health, physical health, and financial health. Okay? What is mental health? That means if you are broke, you got bills to pay, and you have no money to pay. You got somebody sick, you have no money to buy pills, to send them to see a doctor. Don't you think that's going to affect you mentally? Can you sleep at night? All right? So there is something called physical. I mean, if you don't take care of yourself, you don't eat well, you don't sleep well, so eventually that's going to affect you physically, right? That means if there is something called financial health. You could take care of yourself. You could go to gym, you could go, you could do whatever you have to do, you eat well, you got diet, you got a good diet. But if your finance is not in order, that's going to affect your mental health. So there are three types of health, mental, physical, financial. 
But the one that's going to balance mental and physical is financial health. That means when you are broke, you can pay your bills, you cannot be happy. You need the finance and order to enjoy life. All right? The, the third one is family. We know about our family. We got the core family, mom, dad, siblings, grandpa, grandma. All right? Sometimes you could be in <coughs> trouble. Not your core family is going to help you. You need an external family. You need somebody, a good friend, your networking family, all right? In our company, we have about 60, 30,000, 30,000, 100,000 people that we can count on. You have any question, they are willing to be there. You see these guys on the left side? If I have any problem at one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, before I call my brother, I can call any one of them. They will be there for me. That's why we call external family. <coughs> Sometimes they are more reliable than your core family. All right? So there is something you call lifestyle. What do you believe by life? What do you take by lifestyle? Anybody can, can take a, a shot at that? What is lifestyle? <coughs> yes, sir. Like how you choose to live? How you choose to live? <coughs> yes, that's the lifestyle. Some people see lifestyle as where you live, what type of house you have, what car you drive, what kind of vacation that you have. Listen, it's not just that. Lifestyle means, can you do it even if you have money to do it? I give you, I believe in 2015, I got a group of friends that we graduated from NYU together. All those guys are successful, they got a good job. And then one day they decided to go to Dubai. They left me out. I wasn't part of the deal because they knew that I was not making enough money. They didn't even invite me. Everything was paid in full, hotel, ticket, da da da. They were going to Dubai. And then at the last minute, one of them dropped out because there was something come up. He couldn't go. But they don't want to lose the money. They called me up. They said, Noel, we are going to Dubai. If we take it paid in full, could you join us? I said, well, I got no money at all. He said, no, if we take it paid in full, all you have to pack your bag and come. Guess what? I couldn't go. The reason why I couldn't go, because I had a job. Go ahead. Hello, please have a seat. Even though I got that trip very, very, I mean, for free, I could not go because I had to have my boss's permission to allow me to go for two weeks. Okay? I went to my boss, he said, no, the fiscal year is coming to an end. We need to work on the budget for the company. And then you play a role on that, you cannot take vacation. Either you resign or you cancel your vacation. And I had to go back to tell you guys, Thank you, I declined your offer. That's why you call lifestyle, my friend. You could have the money, but if you, have, if, you do not have issue, if you do not have control over the decision that you're going to make, if you have a boss to make decisions for you, that's not lifestyle. Lifestyle means money is not an issue, time is not an issue, you don't need nobody's permission to do whatever you want to do. I thought about leaving the job, resigning, but I thought about my family, I thought about the bills. And I had to say, no, I can't make it. That's why last time is so important. And then last not least called significant. What is significant? Significant meaning that you can contribute to change the world. Haiti, by the way, there was an earthquake in Haiti in 2010. 300,000 people lost their life. And then I was watching CNN one guy decided to write a check for $10 million to give, to donate to Haiti. Bill Gates decided to write a check for $25 million to give to Haiti. Oprah decided, hey, okay, I'm joining that. I'm matching with Bill Gates. I'm, I'm sending a check for $25 million. Oprah made a trip to Africa. She, is, she saw a lot of problems. She decided to spend $200 million to build hospital and school in the continent of Africa. That's why you call it significant. My question for you today, guys, if you are, can you ever, ever become significant? If you have a job nine to five, 
Can you ever, ever have a lifestyle? All right? So I think that's the reason why I'm here today, not to sell your time, not for somebody to buy your time, but to invest your time. In the next couple of minutes, I will, I, we are going to share with you another way, <coughs> a better way to do certain things. So let's look at the salary of people who work in America who get a good job in 2020. See those professions and the salary. You have to be a surgeon to make $200,000 in America. You have to be a doctor to make $187,000. You have to go to school for 14 more years after high school to become a surgeon. All right? So let's say, for example, you go to a good school that pays about $60,000 a year. 14 times 60 gives you $840,000 plus book fees that you have to pay. When you start working, any doctor that you saw in the hospital, <coughs> the first thing is they are working, they are under a lot of stress. Because their student loan, their bills are so high. All right? Because they have to repay that. So let's listen, let's start like this. Let's, let's, let's see, for example, who are those people? They are the brightest of the brightest people in America. They are the smartest of the smartest. Because not everybody can get accepted into medical school, into law school. You have to be very smart. There is something we call STEM, science, technology, engineering, math. You have to be the best of the best to be one of these guys. Guess what happened, guys? When those people graduated, they started to work, this is their situation right now. They are buried in debt. They are under a lot of stress. They are underpaid. They feel like they commit a career suicide. They're not satisfied at all. And then they don't know what to do. Because at that time, most of them will be single, making six-figure income. Their tax bracket is 25, 30%. So every money that they make from 200,000, they have to pay 30% taxes to the government. So they feel like, why did I go to school? Why did I accumulate so much debt to become a doctor, to become this profession? Let's look at their situation after a couple of years. Well, let's say, let's say that you're not one of them. You are an engineer. You are an MBA. This is like so hard for you to make $100,000 in America. The nurses are going to make $100,000. They will start them with $100,000. They, 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 the IM before, before COVID, they start them with $85,000, $90,000. They can make $200,000, but they have to work a lot of overtime. They're not home. They don't see their husband. They don't see their kids. All right? <laughs> she knows what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> She's a nurse. <laughs> All right? I have an MBA. In order for you to make $200,000 an MBA, if you do not graduate from Harvard University, from Wharton Business School, it will take you 10 to 15 years to get 100,000. Sure. Because they start you with 40, 50,000 dollars a year. All right, that's the situation for you to make 100,000 dollars in America. All right, the people who are so bright, they start them with a lot of money. But guess what happened to them? Let's say, for example, this guy make 200, 200,000 dollars a year. If he's, if he's lucky enough to work for the government, he will have a pension. All right? But if he works for private, he has to use 401k, 403 he has to he has to save his own money. And after that, he has to pay taxes and whatever he said. But let's look at this guy who was not lucky enough to get a pension, but he has to contribute to 401k, to 403 b All right? This guy, basically, the first year, he made $233,000. After five years, he made $241,000. After 10 years, he make two, 549. After 15 years, 885,000. After 20 years, he make a million dollars. The rest of the crew, only the top two will make a, top three make a million dollars. None of them, whatever they are, they will never become a millionaire in their field. Why? Because they have 